no big deal. All right. So, oh, crap, I forgot to write down. Um, this one says A, B, C, D. So we have polygon. A, B, C, D is congruent to what polygon? PQRS. Now remember, guys, when we were talking about course, when we were talking about congruent triangles, Tyler, the main thing we talked about is these angles are corresponding, right? If we name our polygon, it doesn't matter if it's a triangle or a poly um, or any type of polygon, these angles are corresponding to each other. So therefore, A corresponds to P. Well, since they're congruent triangles, we know our corresponding angles are equal in measure. So if A is equal to P, I know that A is 2x plus 4 and P is 100. So I can write 2x plus 4. Hello. Uh, I'm going to paint your door inside now. Oh, OK. Very good. 2x plus 4 equals 100. Can you guys solve for x by now? Yes. Yeah, of course you can. Subtract 4, subtract 4. 2x equals 96. Divide by dose, divide by dose. x equals 48. Now let's go to the next one. We know B corresponds to Q. Well, we don't know B. We don't know Q. So that doesn't need us really to help. Um, C corresponds. Well, that's actually the rest of the angles. Um, but now we know that. Let's look at um, CD. So this side, CD, corresponds to RS. Would you guys agree with me? See those lines? CD corresponds with RS. So therefore, CD corresponds to RS. So we can say, all right, go with DC. But it's CD, C to D. You can name it any way you want to. You want to call it DC? Fine, call it DC. What? If, yeah, so if it's C to D, then you have to call it R to S. If you want to call it D to C, then you have to call it S to R. You're right, you have to call them in the same order. So I can say now that 3y minus 3 is equal to dulce, or 12. Now I add 3, add 3. 3y equals 15. Divide by 3, divide by 3. y equals 5. Yeah, I said he was going to paint the inside and the outside. Uh, magenta? <laughs>